So we need to graph the following quadratic function. Um, bef we know that the graph of a quadratic function looks like a parabola. So let's try to find some information about that parabola. First of all, we know that if the coefficient in front of x squared is uh, positive, so if it's greater than zero, that means that our parabola opens up. And here the coefficient before x squared, so a is equal to one. So it means that a is positive and it means that parabola opens up here. Parabola opens up. So basically the parabola will look like this. Well, now let's try to find the vertex, this point of our parabola. To find the vertex, we need to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is equal to negative b over 2a, where b is a coefficient in front of x and a is a coefficient in front of x squared. So in our function, b is equal to negative 4. So here we will have minus, here we have negative 4 over um, a is equal to 1, so 2a is just 2, and this whole thing is equal to 2. Now to find y-coordinate of our vertex, we just need to find f of 2, and this will be equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 1, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and this is minus 1, so the whole thing is equal to negative uh, negative 5 so we get that the vertex the vertex is 2 negative 5 uh, let's find this point on x y plane so let this be 1 and this is 1 then x is equal to it's right here uh, y is equal negative 5 it's right here so our vertex, our vertex is right here. Two negative five. Well, um, to build uh, to build uh, uh, a parabola, we need at least three points because parabola is defined by three points. So to find the other two points, we we can try find the x-intercept here. To find x-intercept, we need to let our function be equal to 0. So x squared minus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. In this case, the discriminant is equal to b squared, which is negative 4 squared, minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times negative 1. This whole thing is equal to 16 plus 4, which is 20. 20. Great, now we need to find our roots. So x1 is equal to negative b. Negative b is just 4 plus the square root of discriminant, which is square root of 20, over 2a, which is just 2. And uh, x2 will be equal to 4 minus square root of 20 over 2. Well, let's uh, simplify this. So 4 plus uh, square root of 20 over 2 is equal to 2 plus square root of 5. And x2 is equal to 2 minus square root of 5. Well, now we can depict it on our graph. So 2 plus square root of 5. So square root of 5 is uh, a bit bigger than 4, than 2, because uh, 2 squared is 4, 5 is a bit bigger, than square root of 5 is a bit bigger than 2, which means 2 plus square root of 5 is a bit bigger than 4, but less than 5. So, um, так. A bit bigger than 4, but less than 5. It's somewhere here. It's 2 plus square root of 5 and 0. Uh, 2 minus square root of 5 is uh, um, 
a bit less than zero, but bigger than negative one. So it's somewhere here. Here we have uh, two minus square root of five and zero. Well, now we have three points. That means that we can build our parabola. We just need to connect them. Um, this is not always easy, but let's try to do it smoothly. Here. Thing goes up and this thing goes up. Well, this is the graph of our function.